couldn't go under the sea uh, with Ariel, Sebastian, and Flounder. The Fifth Avenue Theater's production of Disney's The Little Mermaid just kicked off its run at the Aronoff Center. The show feature, features all of your favorite songs, of course, as well as a few new ones. And Prince Eric is in our studio this morning to tell us more about it. Matthew Kasirgis, did I say it right? Yes. Okay. Nailed it. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> so good to be here, or to have you here. I know for actors this is very early. You performed probably late yeah. last well, night. Okay. So show last night and everything. Thanks man. for coming in this early. Thanks for having me. Yeah. We just saw a little bit of the video there, and we were talking about you know how young is too young to come to this show because it's so hard to get kids to sit still. They got a lot to feast their eyes on though in this show looks like. Oh yes. Yeah. They've done they did a really good job I think of because uh, with animation you can do anything. Sure. You can anything you want to do you can just make it right. happen. And so obviously you sit down in a production design meeting and figure out okay I don't know relatively limited budget. How do we how do we make these how do we hold the attention in the same way that the animation can <laughs> They're supposed to be underwater. Right. How are we going to do that? Yeah, that's And that's the gotta fly be and you saw a little bit in the in the videos there the yeah. flying sequences are just out of this world. Yeah. Cool. I mean, it's the uh, our flying choreographer is Paul Rubin. He did Kathy Rigby's flying choreography oh for years for Peter Pan. Every time they've redesigned that show, he he designs it. Kind of knows what he's doing a little bit. Yeah, yeah. he did Wicked. <laughs> he's I think he was over in Shanghai doing some like crazy 200,000 square foot installation wow. of Peter Pan. Wow. So that's, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. That's yeah. good to have when it's you're a, it's like a pity suspended he can't get from get a job ceiling. anywhere, but you know, it's uh, <laughs> Right. But for you, I mean, you probably don't get to fly, right? I mean, you're, you're Prince Eric. You're, no, not, you're just, not swimming around and whatnot. I just watch the other people do it. I know. <laughs> I, 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 you, just, you get insanely jealous watching these people just kind of flying all over the place? Well, uh, I, I worked at Disneyland for a while, and I and I, I was in the Aladdin show, and I did some flying. And the thing nice. about it is that the first few times you do it is really, really fun, and it's like the coolest thing you've ever done. And then yeah. after a while, like, you can get a little sore. Yeah, because so you're in harnesses that are... Yeah, snug. It's sort of one of those things where it, it's a. Of course, I'll do it, and right. it's really, really fun. But I'm not necessarily too disappointed uh, that it didn't just kind of right. wear shoes and walk <laughs> around. <laughs> now, what is the best part about being in this show? Because it's a classic, so many people know it. Is it kind of hard to refresh this for people, or or to play a role that people have seen? You know as a cartoon? Well, the, th the thing that's lucky for me, and I, and I think, I would say that this is true for, I think, the, the entire cast. Just the way the show is written and the way the show's directed is, um, well, for my character, he doesn't really say much in the movie. He's just kind of there yeah. to, to, like, be handsome and give her something to fixate <laughs> on. And <laughs> <laughs> the eye candy, if you right. will. Yeah, sure, since sure. I don't really fit the bill for eye candy, so I was like, all right, <laughs> I've got to like, I got to, I got to dig a little deeper here. So uh, I got a couple <laughs> new songs that were written for oh, the show that I get to sing, cool. which I really, really love. Yeah. And um, you know, for our director, the, it's really, really about telling the story, and it's really about um, digging a little deeper than the cartoon and figuring out what motivates these people and who they really, really are as people and what connects them. Yeah. Um, and I think they did a really, really good job of doing that. And there's going to be things you get everything that you love from sure. the movie. And then I think you get um, kind of a deeper personal connection to these characters oh. and, and who they really are. And, and I, I think it makes it a lot more relatable. Awesome. I mean, awesome. what's better than being in a live theater? You can't beat it. No. You, you can't beat it. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks for having we, me. We really, really appreciate it. We'll get Thanks more information so about The Little Mermaid down at the Aronoff Center up at local12.com. It's got some new stuff, but it's got all the stuff you want as well.